Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Rondi here with your Psychic Empath Superhuman Astrological Report for Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. So what do the stars have in store for us today? Well, starting off with Aries. Aries, we have the base chakra, a firm foundation, money, um, our prosperity is on your mind, especially in the future. Now, I know that the planet Uranus, when it was in your sign and left you um, prior to May of this year, you had it for seven years. And I know that the planet of revolution and instability has probably shaken up your life. And now you're like, okay, good. It's in Taurus. It's Taurus's problem now, and I'm okay. Well, since November 7th, it has retrograded back into your sign where it's going to stay until I believe the end of March. And so you might be still shaking off the after effects of being in it for seven years, but he's back to test you. So while it's good to go ahead and plan for your future and how you're going to get on a firm and solid ground with doing that, you also want to make sure that you have not allowed in those old um, adverse things, peoples, or situations that Uranus was kind enough to get rid of for you, those distractions that can keep you from moving forward in your life. It's also if you had started a project during the um, the Uranus transit through your sign, now might be a good time. If you didn't finish it, go back to it. Because we also have this combined with Mercury retrograde, which also demands that we kind of slow down the forward motion and go back and fix and resolve things. So this is a great time with the Uranus in your sign and with the um, the Mercury retrograde going on, this is a great time actually to finish up past projects or resolve old issues finally and completely once and for all so that you can move forward on a firm foundation. And for those of you out there saying, it's not Uranus, it's Uranus. For some reason, I feel like that's the way I should pronounce it. So I do. All right, let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, we have patience with emotional withdrawal. Now you guys are famous for your patience. When you are working on a project, you can plan every little tiny detail out and have that kind of patience. However, while the patience part is good, you're putting too much of your emotions. When you guys focus, I mean, it's like tunnel that you are focused on what it is that you're doing. The emotional withdrawal card is saying, relax. Your plans that you have patiently worked on are going to work out. You can have that positive movement forward. But now is the time. See this guy, he's all zen out in front of the ocean. Now is the time to pull your emotions out of that. You've already got everything going. It, everything is going to be just fine. But now it's time to relax your mind, relax your spirit, enjoy these holidays with your friends and with your family, and just relax and know that all of your work and patience is paying off. Gemini's, what have we got for you today? Well, we've got some power struggles going on in your life that may be causing some obstacles and challenges. Now, the power struggles can be internal or they can usually, when we've got this power card, it's usually with an external person where there are some power struggles going on that seem to be consuming you or upsetting you in some kind of way. Well, one of the things that the obstacles and challenges card teaches, if you look at it first, it might look a little scary because you've got the narrowing plank and the breach here, but look how short that distance is. If you were to keep your balance, you could walk right over it. So the obstacles and challenges card is actually about not over inflating obstacles and challenges. Now, I know that some people can get on your last your last nerve, especially if they are stubborn or they have to have their way all the time. The thing is to recognize, you know what? Don't take it personally. This is just how that person is. If they weren't treating you this way, they'd be treating someone else this way, and they probably do. Don't take it personally. Just recognize them for being stubborn or whatever it is so that you're not fighting something that you cannot change. We cannot change people, but we can change how we react to them. And so if they get on your last nerves or they just have to have their own way, do not engage just, you know, with their 
um, with their power, with their need for power, you say, you know what, this is who this person is, calm yourself down, and then just deal with it from a calm standpoint. And you may often find that when you calm down and you project calm, then you can actually calm down a situation as well. So don't let those power mongers get on your last nerve. Just relax. Don't take it personally. It's just who they are and roll on with your own stuff. Cancers, cancers, cancers. You guys have new beginnings with the third eye chakra, which means this is what you're thinking about is new beginnings in your life. See, she's on top of the world, new and happy things. This is a great time for you to plan for your new and happy life in the future. Now, keep in mind with the Mercury retrograde, we actually should be resolving those issues that can keep us from having this wonderful new beginnings in the future. This represents the future, our third eye chakra. So what you want to do is you also want to go back and resolve any situations or remove things or people, whatever it is that will keep you from having that new beginnings once these retrogrades are over and you can get everything back on track. Leos, we have the truth with heartache and loss. This means that you can actually get some news or a truth will be revealed, a veil will be pulled from a situation that has been over your eyes. And it might be very hurtful to have this truth come to you. But the one thing to remember is that even though that truth may hurt as the truth often does, it is better to know the truth so that you can get over it and move on with your life, make whatever adjustments you need to make, remove a person, remove a, uh, a situation, get out of a job, whatever it is, at least now you know. So you may go through a grieving process, which is okay. The thing to remember though, is we are not supposed to dwell um, in our emotions. We're not supposed to wallow in adverse emotions. Our emotion, emotions are alarm systems. They let us know if something is good in our life or something is not so good in our life. So recognize the alarm, go ahead and grieve the situation, but then go ahead and take those steps to change things or fix things so that you can get over it and get onto a better space in your life. Virgos, we have discontent and boredom, which means you have probably been in a space where you have not been happy or things have just not been going your way. You might feel stuck. You might just feel anxious. You might feel frustrated. The universe is calling on you today to count your blessings. Instead of focusing on what's going wrong in your life, you are being called to focus on what is going right in your life. I already know you've got some wonderful, amazing things happening in your life. So now is the time to focus on that. Focus on your blessings. And with this holiday, it's a great time if you've got friends and family around you or you can connect to, that's a great time to recognize how lucky and blessed you are. And that will completely negate this card of discontent and boredom and bring you back into the light where you belong. Libras, we have the solar plexus with positive movement forward. The solar plexus is our force of will. We are determined and you guys are determined to move forward. You've had that Venus retrograde kicking your butt for quite a few months now when you take into consideration the pre-shadow and the post-shadow doesn't get back to normal until uh, December, December 17th. And so you still have a little ways to go, but this is now your chance. I know you've had it and you are ready now to get back on track but you probably have found that this has been a blessing to you in some way because Venus came in and got you to focus on yourself and to get you on this positive path. So go ahead, keep your will going, keep moving forward. You're doing the right thing, but also make sure that when we've got, you know, the Mercury retrograde also going on, just use that energy just to make sure you've resolved everything that needs to be resolved, at least for now. We can't resolve everything in the world. So we can resolve some things that need to be done for now and then continue with your plans to move forward. Just keep going with what it is that you have been trying to do and pay attention to those accomplishments. I know a lot of Libras 
suddenly got great new jobs or they're going to school for new careers. You know, they've turned their lives around doing um, during this Venus retrograde. So just keep that up, keep going forward, but also work the Mercury retrograde to make sure that you have resolved any issues that need to be resolved that can slow your progress down in the future. Scorpios, 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 you guys have love on your mind. We've got the heart chakra card, so you're just feeling these awesome loving vibrations. You are broadcasting love and compassion, and you also may have your eye on somebody as well. Now, you want to be careful. I know that, you know, we've all suffered through the Venus retrograde, um, but you also want to make sure that you don't get too heavily involved with anyone until the post shadow is over. A lot of relationships that begin during the retrograde influence, and keep in mind, just because the hard transit is over, we still it won't get back to normal until after December 17th. And so a lot of relationships that can begin during the retrograde can actually end when it's over. So go ahead and broadcast that loving vibration, whether if you're seeking love, you're broadcasting that energy, so you're sure to bring it to yourself. Or if you're falling in love, just kind of back up a little bit, you know, take things slow until after the post shadow is over and all should be well with your love life. Sagittarians, you guys have the trapped in fear card. That means things may be welling up on you. You may be feeling um, overwhelmed or there's a situation that's frightening you to death. You've got something coming up that's scaring you. Good news. The universe card, which is the highest card in this deck, is the universe has your back. This is what this card is saying. It's saying, don't be afraid. Don't worry. I know things might seem dire. Things might seem overwhelming. Don't worry about that. The universe has your back. They are going to work on it with you and help you through it. You're going to, when we get this card, it's going to be okay. So you can sit back, relax, and be in confidence knowing that the universe is going to support you and fix your situation, or at least help you to fix your situation. Capricorns, you guys have rejoice in celebration with material and spiritual prosperity. This is a good, this is really good. It means that money is coming to you and you're happy about it, or you've got a new asset, a new car, something. But more importantly, you notice it's not just material um, prosperity, it's material and spiritual prosperity, which means something could be coming at you. It might not necessarily be money that's making you so happy. It could very well be that you're seeing your family for the holidays. Um, something has come up that has really made your soul feel good, which is normal for this time of year. It's Thanksgiving. Our friends are over. Our family's over. You might have gotten some good news about something, but something's happening that's going to bring joy to your very soul and at the very least can bring you some money too. So it doesn't get much better than that. Aquarians, we have the destiny card with the shadow card. Now, if you look at the shadow card, you can see that it's two men arguing over a scepter. And that's usually internal conflict. And since we have that with the destiny card, this means that you might be thinking about, you know, what is my destiny? What is it that I'm supposed to do? Or you may feel that there's something that you are destined to do or a person you're destined to be with and you're at odds with it. And so what you want to do is to recognize, I know that you are very mental based and men you think a lot, you analyze a lot, but the thing that the universe wants you to do actually is to go ahead and stop analyzing because that's not helping you. All it's doing is making you more confused and more anxious. Sort of put the problem to the side for a minute. Just say, you know what? I'm not just going to think about it for right now. I'm just not going to think about it. I'll think about it tomorrow. Give your mind a rest because the destiny card the destiny is going to happen anyway, and you worrying about it isn't going to make you feel better. So we want you to kind of step back out of that mental conflict 
that you have going on. Relax, enjoy the holidays. So you know what? I'll, I'll think about it on Monday. Right now, I'm going to enjoy the holidays. I'm going to enjoy the long weekend and just relax. It's when you've got a clear head and you're feeling nice and calm, that enables you even better to think more clearly. When we're anxious and frustrated, it can be too hard. So you want to just go ahead, relax, and let the weekend do its job and so that you can just relax and be happy. This you can take care of and think about more on Monday. And last but not least, we have our lovely Pisces. Pisces, we've got passion on our minds. Now, this is not necessarily a sexual card. It can also be about a passion that you have discovered in your life, or you may be wondering, what is my passion? I, I need to get my, my passion back. And so it can be for um, maybe a hobby. Maybe 20 years ago, you used to paint, and now you're like, well, you know what? The kids are gone now. I think I'll, I'll get my painting passion back. Or you may have been out of a relationship for a while, and you want to get your sexy back on. So you might be doing that, figuring out how you can meet somebody new, gussying yourself up to do so. But either way, this is a great day to think about your passions, explore them, discover them if necessary. Because when we are passionate about something and when we're doing something that is our passion, it so feeds our soul. It so feels good. You become this different person. It's just like you're alive again. And maybe you're in a relationship that you've been in for a while and maybe the passion has died a little bit. And so now you'd like to get that passion back. And so you might be thinking of ways to bring that newness back into the relationship, go get some new lingerie, go on date nights or whatever it is, but go ahead and use this day to explore your passion. I've just gotten my passion back for belly dancing. And that's not something I've done in a long, 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 long time. So anyway, that is your Psychic Empath Superhuman Astrological Report for Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. I'm Goddess Rhonda. Please check out my website. Just put goddessrhonda.com. It'll take you right to it. And you can make appointments with me there if you need help figuring out how to navigate that path to success, love, or whatever it is you're looking for. You can book an appointment with me and I can help you with that. Please also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notifications. I've got some superhuman shows coming up that will talk about vampires and how to get away from them and all kinds of stuff. So we'll be um, bringing that in in the next week or two. Please visit my Goddess Rhonda Facebook page and hit the like button. And also, please check out my book. Have it. Yay. You are not broken, which will teach you how to retrain your brain, emotionally shape shift and pinpoint those issues that are holding you back and help you to create a custom plan to success. It'll also teach you how to clean up your energy, get everybody's cords off of you so that you are working from a nice, clean, energetic state. So that has been your report. And of course, I send you all the energy you need to keep rolling forward on your positive path to success. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste and blessed be. Thank you.